Welcome back guys. As you can see our strategy game has changed quite a bit from the previous video. Well we've just changed the terrain a little bit. We've made a desert texture instead of the grass texture and I've also created a solar panel object. So the next thing I'm going to concentrate on our strategy game is a resources system and to do resources we need a object to collect some and the object I've chosen is a solar farm in the game we'll be able to upgrade our solar farms and build other solar farms and we're going to collect energy from the sun so it kind of sticks to the real world problems we're having now and uh, is relevant and I think it looks really nice to solar panels that's the reason I did it really, it looks really nice and um, I've got a specular shader on here and it reflects with the sun and it makes the solar panels look really cool um, I'm going to show you how to model these in this video, it's very simple to do and how to create the texture as well, so the texture map and I'm going to show you that now actually and so this is my um, texture map it's very basic I've just got a, um, a dark grey line here for polygons I don't really care about with the, which the user won't see I've got a very light grey for other parts of the panel and the main bit, the panel itself is a... Um, firstly I made a purpley bluey colour just a solid colour and I use the tile filter in Photoshop the tile filter kind of separates the uh, the texture into uh, kind of proportional squares. I then created a square, rotated it uh, 45 degrees I think to make a, tr a diamond and then just duplicated the diamond here and then I just uh, selected half of the squares horizontally to change the hue a little bit and the, uh, as well vertically as well just to change the colour a bit and the final thing is to add noise. Okay guys, just add a bit of noise to make it look a bit more realistic and that's the texture. So um, before I continue with the game, I just want to mention something in the script. But in the previous video, we um, selected, we changed the unit selected value to true when we clicked it. Um, but we forgot to do it if the unit is already selected. Even if the unit is already selected, we need to select the um, change the selected value to true as well. So add this in if you've been following along, guys. It's just the way things work. If you're developing a game, you add a new thing and you noticed error sometimes but that's just the way things are okay I'm just going to show you how to model this solar panel and I'm going to hop to Maya it's really easy to do and it must be because I haven't been in Maya in ages and i just done it in a couple of minutes um, what we do is we just shrink down a cube that's about the right size I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees if anything that's too thick panels are really thin aren't they so let's duplicate it and I'm just going to bring this object down a tiny bit um, I'm going to make it a bit thicker this time and also make them a lot thinner here so this is kind of a support frame for our panel let's move it to the side and I'm going to duplicate this move it to this side and select both of them let's just move them down so it's not intersecting mesh combine now they're both one object so I'm going to edit mesh insert the edge loop tool and create a couple of edge loops at either end of the graph of the, the um, object. I'm going to remove this grid. That's probably why I said graph because the grid was in the way. Show grid. Go into a face mode. Select these two faces. Extrude them out. Move them right across to the other frame. And the easiest way I think I can do this is to again use the insert edge loop tool let's just do this by the way guys press the Y key so that's Y if you want to repeat the previous tool you were using go to a face mode and let's just delete these faces so we can join them together uh, let's just delete these and then we can go to a vertex mode and get our merge vertex tool out and just merge these together Ooh, let's merge this one and do the same at the top. All right, so now our objects join together. Um, comes to think of it, we need to make a stand to stand to go down. So I'm going to use the insert edge loop tool again to create another loop here, and we're just going to repeat the same process. Really, we're going to go to a face mode. So as you can see, these loops are a bit high up. I want to bring them down to the center of the object a little bit more. To do that, I'm going to go to an edge mode. Double click on this to select the edge loop. 
and use the slide edge tool and the slide edge tool just brings it down a tad what we should do, it's a bit sensitive here but it should bring it down and select the other one, bring it down a bit alright that's more in the center now let's go back to a face mode again we can extrude this out let's extrude this out again repeat the same process insert edge loop tool and so face mode again vertex mode alright our stand's almost done now guys so um, let's just go back insert edge loop again it's a really handy tool actually so let's insert edge loop here I want a thicker panel this time um, go to a face extrude face and move it down move this down we rotate the bottom bit let's line it up in the side of you so it's nice and aligned okay that'll do so I've made this a bit longer than it needs to be because in our game we might have a hilly kind of terrain so we want to stick this into the ground at all times okay so that's our panel now we need to add the texture so to do this I'm first going to go to an object mode let's call this one panel let's call this object here stand it's going to be the panel stand and I'm going to assign a new material let's assign a Lambert material and let's change the color of it to a file and we're going to use our panel texture alright so it's finally loaded in okay so here's our panel texture let's just go into our UV editor UV texture editor so I'm just firstly going to move the UVs I don't need so I'm going to go into a face I'm going to select all these ones around the side and I'm going to select the one in the middle I'm going to go to a good position on our camera to make it horizontal okay that would do okay that do create UVs zoom in a bit create UVs based on the camera okay so here are our UVs let's just shrink them down a bit put them here so I'm gonna make this a very light grey texture in our game the users aren't gonna see this and actually I think it might be a good idea to make this the dark colour let's rotate it 90 degrees and put it in our little thin strip here okay that's cool so all of them are black now let's select the main panel UVs and move it into the center all we need to do here is increase the scale and to line it up very nicely so okay so once our panels lined up very nicely all we need to do now is move on to the stand the stand object and select all the UVs there hasn't been a material added to this so I'm going to add an existing material let's set let's see um, add the Lambert we just added to the panel object and I'm just going to select all the UVs I'm going to shrink them down we can make these more detailed at a later date and again I'm going to put them in the black the kind of dark grey area so the users are not going to see this in the game ah okay we need to go back to our panel object and edit this one a bit so let's go to a face select this one okay that's cool okay that's cool so the user, the user is not going to see this the user is only going to see this bit alright so that's our panel we can now export the selection and back into unity to create the shiny look all we need to do is change the shader on the panel to uh, specular okay so the specular color is a very light kind of purple alright and uh, the shininess is kind of two thirds of the way because we don't want it to be too shiny because there won't be much glare we don't want it to be really glary, we just want it to be kind of halfway. Looks really nice about there. Just as a side note, guys, you need to create two materials, one with a shininess for the panel, and the other panel is not, it's just a diffuse. It's going to use the same texture and it's going to be black. Okay. So if we rotate around here, the user is only going to see the black bits, alright? And our camera can't rotate at the moment anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And that's our panel. Okay, guys, that's all we need to do for our panel looks really cool so now we've got a point for our resources in the next video we'll continue building this out actually and add some more details to the level and then make our resources work in the game
thanks for watching the video guys see you in the next video